I went around an old bend up there and got off that trail and tried to go up, get off of it, and it was sand. I, I take about three steps and slide back two. And pretty soon, yeah, get out, yeah. I looked back and all I could see was gun barrels pointing at me. I just tucked my hands up and I said, American, Megwai. And I sat down and kind of wiggled my heels and slid right down, right in front of them. They, uh, boy, they were, they were, I mean, they were, they'd have shot me in a heartbeat. I just sat there. And they, and they, they mumbled something, you know. One of them got a hold of me, began to pull on me a little bit. So I got up, still had my hands up. And they searched me thoroughly. I, anyway, uh, uh, they take me up. They take me down there, and they tied me up. I asked the Chinese for for something to do, and I started cutting out this chest set. I, I cut these out, and uh, and uh, and uh, <clears throat> it took me a long time. I cut them out, and uh, and I brought them home. I uh, made it Christmas time, uh, and Camp Four. We had we had a lot more freedom there. We had we had barracks to sleep in. This had this had been once a place where they trained their trained their troops. They used a lot of soybeans. They used soybeans for protein. They didn't have meat over there. All the meat was dogs, and that already been ate up. They didn't have any oxen. And by the way, dog meat ain't too bad. I tell you what, it, it, it ain't. Hell, even a damn old cat. I killed a cat one day and and, and roasted him up there by the fire, and we ate him. When I was captured, I had a pair of wool green liners, and they fit inside of a leather a leather glove. And I saw this one dude there was nervous, and I saw him take my gloves off. I was not close enough, but I could see him turn around and he was doing something. I said, "Well, hell, you stole my gloves." So I just started walking up there. I said, give me my gloves, and he, and, and when he saw me, he, he grabbed, he grabbed to get that rifle. Well, when he did, when he grabbed that belt, I grabbed two fingers like this right here, and the other guard was up there telling me, showing me that they had their, their gun was loaded, and I, I, I didn't care, I, I kept saying, give me my gloves, you stole my gloves. All of a sudden, my God, here was... What are you doing? Release that soldier. I looked around and here was a little old dude, black boots on, a little gun on his side with a belt that come around and went around this way with a gun over here. He, he, he spoke better English than I did. This, this, this Chinese did. I don't know where he come from. He, and I told him, I said, I says, uh, this soldier stole my gloves yesterday. He says, he says, he said, what'd you say? I told him. The whole about where I, you know about yesterday, and he turned and said, "Mayola, now, that's no in Chinese, no." And I'm telling you, he he was as stiff as a board. That that soldier was, you know. And he said he did not, he didn't steal your gloves, and he did. I and I I told him what the gloves looked like. Then I got an RPC stamped in, in, in white paint right here on both of them. I said they're in his pocket there, and he said something, and that Mayola. He said, he doesn't have your gloves. I said, he does. I said, I saw him take them off, and they're in his pockets. He said, you, you, you're wrongly accusing, wrongly accusing a, a Chinese soldier, and he said, you will have to be severely punished. I said, before you shoot me, make me make him take out what's in his pocket. So he pointed over there, and Mayola, and then he, he kind of reached under and done that way. And this, this, this soldier began to very slowly like, Pull that glove out. As soon as he got out, got out, he jerked it out, jerked it out, and looked at it. And he got that one. He, he said, he said, Are these your gloves? I said, yes, sir. He said, I'm very sorry this happened. He said, uh, Chinese do not steal and they do not lie. And they, the other three guys walked up there and marched his ass right up there and shot him deader than a doornail. Cold turkey. It was 19 of us. Two colored, some British, and Americans. And little old Shorty, we called him Shorty, he was a little chunky little rascal, a little Chinese. Here everybody had well, had been brought out by some North Koreans. Three or four soldiers had found out that there was Americans down there, so they had hit one down there and had made everybody come up. And like I said, they were too colored. 
Well, a lot of these people had never seen a colored person, and a lot of them haven't ever seen an American. And here we were, we got up there, and I run and got Shorty. Shorty was laying back her sleep. I woke him up, and I said, I, 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 got, I grabbed my damn gun, and he had a, he had these clips in them. A velvet cloth, and I grabbed that and give it a jerk. That's what he'd do, give it a jerk, and it would unroll. He'd unroll it, so he stuck a couple in him and put one in the in the gun, and up the steps we got up there. When he got up there, he he loaded that puppy and boom. And I mean to tell you, he got some attention real quick, like all the Koreans were gone except the soldiers. And he just absolutely tried his best to beat them, beat them to death with their own guns. We ain't good. We were, we were, we were, every time we'd go somewhere, he'd throw the damn, he'd make me carry his tummy gun. Now, I didn't have no clips in it, don't get me wrong. But he'd, but he'd take, and hell, we didn't care. We'd walk. I wasn't about to do anything wrong. I didn't know where I was at to begin with. And Jesus, God, he didn't, it's no use committing suicide. It's too much, you know, traffic. Convoys pass on a Korean road. One carries Reds to an unknown fate, the other United Nations men to freedom. As the exchange machinery gathers momentum, Red officers come forward to deliver another consignment of UN prisoners to the custody of Allied officials. A total of 684. We knew we were going to get released. We got, we'd got word we were going to get released. But anyway, that morning, we all fell in, and, uh, and we were loaded on trucks. Wasn't very many of us. Well, anyway, they, they went down. We, went, we, 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 we drove for quite a ways and we got out. And there we are standing, standing in a line. And the Chinese, the, the, there was Americans over here and Chinese on this side. And as your name is called, you walk up to this line. The Chinese calls your name and you walk up to this line. And then he, then, 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 this American calls your calls your name, and when he does, then you step over the line. 